Hey there, I'm Casper from Busyworks and welcome to this very first Busyworks electronic music production or EMP tutorial. Now we're going to do a series of tutorials for the more advanced electronic music producer. That doesn't mean you can't watch it if you're just starting out, but I advise you to check out some more basic tutorials online first. Now the DAW I'm using for these tutorial series is Prasanna Studio One. If you're on another DAW that's no problems. Uh, most techniques used in these tutorials are very fit for other DAWs. So let's get started. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, filter envelopes. And for this tutorial I'm using FabFilter Volcano 2. It's not a free plugin but it's well worth the pay so check out fabfilter.com if you're interested. And uh, let's see what we got here. Um, I've got a very basic project with some leads, a bass and a clap and the melodies from an older track me and Phoenix did a couple of years ago. Now let's check it out with the filter envelope. Here we go. Okay, now we all know the basic sound you get from filter envelope. Uh, it's, it's widely used in electronic music and the snappy sound is very distinctive. But when using multiple layers of synths, things start to get a little more tricky. You could just automate all these different layers so every synth envelope has got the same progression. But aside from being a lot of work, most of the time it will not sound very good because of timing differences. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could control all those layers at once? Now with a plugin like FabFilter Volcano we can. So let's open up a new song. There we go. And drag in a lead part. There it is. Drag in the MIDI. And then it sounds like this. Um, oh, set the tempo to 150. There it goes. You can hear this uh, filter envelope going. It's a little bit detuned because of the distortion. That's something Silent does. Um, now the next thing we're gonna drag in are some chords. There. And uh, let's see what else. Second lead. So. Get some bass going. And one that I miss. Let's see. Uh, oh, the eight bass. Yes, there it is. And okay. Now, this is not mixed down, so it shouldn't sound really nice, but let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, let's drag this open again. Um, now the next thing you're gonna do is uh, open up the mixer and create a group track for those tracks that are going to play uh, in the same rhythm. So uh, that's mainly these two guys. Let's see. I don't want to affect the bass or the eighth bass. So let's select these guys. And now you can see them in the mixer and they're selected. Let's make this a little larger. Okay, now right click in the insert part or in the sense part. It doesn't uh, make uh, any difference. Uh, add and uh, choose add bus for selected tracks. Now it's gonna add a group track, a new bus. Let's call this leads. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is drag in a fab filter volcano. So there it is. And to set this up right, we got to select add source and select a new envelope generator. 
Now you can see there's an envelope appearing there. And the thing we have to do is assign these, uh, this envelope generator to the cutoff of filter one. We only use one filter, no need for any more. So drag it, just take that and drag it over there. So now it's assigned. You can see it's assigned by this, uh, this, uh, this little thing and you can drag in there just to make it a little more attenuating the cutoff frequency. So um, now next thing we want to do is send some MIDI to the volcano. Now in order to, for a volcano to, uh, to receive MIDI you have to click this little button right here uh, with the uh, with the little dots in a, in a bow, and it looks like um, like the the MIDI um, the MIDI plug on the back of your uh, the back of your synthesizer. So next thing we're gonna do is duplicate this track with the events and assign it to FabFilter Volcano. Now, why why did I choose this uh, this track? Because it has the whole melody in there, and um, so the rhythm is is, is quite right. Um, it doesn't matter if there are chords in there or something; it, it will only react to the rhythm of the MIDI. So, if you it, it doesn't matter if if the the melody is correct or it's all uh, all playing on uh, on C three or something. That's not a that's not a problem. It's uh, it's all about the rhythm. So to assign it to another thing, we have to click here. Um, let's see, and there it should be Fabfilter Volcano 2. So choose that. Okay. Now if we click the little instrument sign here, it will open Fabfilter. It's pretty handy. Okay. Now as we can see. Um, See, filter is open. Check it out. Now, if we drag this back, you can already hear it's doing something to the sound, but it's not quite right. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, drag the attack back so it's pretty snappy, and then the sustain a little bit down. Okay, and now we should be able to hear this. thing is um, they're now all in the same rhythm and they're, they're nice and tight so uh, I hope you get the basic idea of what you can do with uh, with FabFilter Volcano um, this is just uh, when you're using it to uh, to layer multiple synths and then filter them but there are some other creative uses for this and I'll get back to the other project and open up some tracks okay now what I saw when I was working on a bootleg for someone was this and it was pretty great now I thought when I can do this with uh, with, with, with some synths then I can also do this with some audio so if you drag in just just any track you want um, I've got a Proto Robertson track here. It's called Language. Let's hear it. Great track. Now, if you uh, if you want to do a filter envelope on this, you have to recreate the whole uh, the whole synth and then get a filter envelope going. Now, with Fab Filter Volcano, you don't have to do that. Now, this track has a fairly simple melody to it. Um, because it's all on eighth notes. Uh, I drag this in a, in a MIDI part and assigned it to Fab Filter. Let's turn it on so you can hear what it's doing. Here we go. So 
this is this is just great. Now you have all sorts of creative uses. I've used this on uh, on the Showtech track Buya. There we go. Okay. Um, now what I did here with Buya was just to find the rhythm. You can uh, you can just um, drag in a, just draw a MIDI part and drag some notes in there and hoping you're right. Now, to make this a little easier, uh, one of the great things about Studio One is it's got um, built-in Melodyne if you got the, 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 the professional version. And um, so if you click any audio part and uh, you click and um, choose Control M, then you can see Melodyne has analyzed the audio for me. Now this is pretty great. It's not really accurate uh, because of all the reverbs and delays in the original track. I mean, it's not a single track, it's, a, it's the whole thing. So it's not only the melody. Um, but it does a fairly good job. Now, w what you can do with this is uh, create a new MIDI track. It's already called Booyah MIDI. Oh, great. Um, and if you take the audio parts, which are analyzed by Melodyne, drag them down, hold down Alt, then there you get your MIDI part. Now, as I said, it's really not that accurate, as you can see there. And for the trigger, for the Volcano trigger to work correctly, it has to be spot on. So. One of the uh, things you have to do is then correct this by uh, by quantizing it, as I did right there, and then you got this great effect going. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We've got a lot more very interesting tutorials coming up. And if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let us know. In the meantime, you can check out our website at busyworks.nl. And thank you for watching, and now go and be creative.